Hey Aquarius, I hope you guys are all doing really great. So this is going to be a general love reading for mid-September to the end of September 2022 for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs in Aquarius. You might be watching for yourself or you might be cross-watching for somebody else. Either way, you do know that the roles can be reversed because this is a general reading, which also means that it's not going to resonate for all of you. If you would like a personal reading, you can find all that information in the description box. All right, Aquarius, let's see what is going on with you in a love connection for the second half of September 2022, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Okay, so for the situation, we have the Two of Wands crossed by the Emperor. Okay, so somebody is hesitating here. There's a little bit of a hesitation to really take control or to really step into somebody's um, power. Oh, and here is Mannix. He wants to check out the candle. <laughs> All right, we are going to clarify these in a bit. Let's see, for the recent past, we have the Sun. Okay, so... It feels like, yeah, you know, recently something felt really, really good, either in this connection or maybe you just felt really good about where you where you were. Um, let's see, for your energy, we have the Page of Wands and, yeah, he's going to sit like right here. No, don't burn your tail, please. Okay. The Page of Wands and the Six of Swords. Okay. So you're, you're feeling some motivation here. I feel like you want to take like a new direction away from something. Um, I get that it's away, either away from this connection or away from um, some kind of an aspect of this connection. So maybe to leave something in the past, to just, you know, let things be and to heal something from the past within this connection. Let's see for them, we have the Three of Cups. He will move in a little bit. That's what he does. He comes, he, he wants to just chill here for like, few minutes <laughs> and then he'll move usually okay three of cups and the knight of pentacles okay i can see them don't worry <laughs> all right so the person that you're dealing with here this is somebody who i'm getting that they're very very social and that this is somebody who might um I don't, I don't necessarily see a third party or anything like that, but maybe this is just somebody who is very flirty. Um, but I feel like they're on, they're on their way towards becoming a little bit more stable, becoming a little bit more secure in their own selves. Because I get that this flirtiness is more of, it's, it's coming from like some kind of an insecurity. And I actually feel like that's the hesitation, is to just really get this under control. Let's see the near future. We have the Seven of Swords, and the message for you here is the Four of Wands. Okay, so there is something here that is coming up that feels a little bit shady. Um, it might be that you might feel like, you know, you don't, you don't really trust this person. Um, I can see why you kind of want to move away from this connection. Something just feels a little bit deceptive. And I get that, you know, it's that this person is just really hesitating to fully step into this emperor energy and just take control of their, their own self, basically. Um, but like I said, with that Knight of Pentacles, I do see them moving in that direction. Slowly but surely. And we'll see that Four of Wands. We'll see that Four of Wands when we get there. So let's clarify. Let's clarify this Two of Wands with the Emperor. The Nine of Swords, the Knight of Swords, and the Nine of Cups. Okay, so two nines and a knight in the middle. So this is really um, creating a lot of stress. It's creating a lot of stress, I feel, and it's it's straining the connection. That's how it's coming in. It's just 
because I feel like it's almost like unnecessary. I feel like there's a potential here for a lot of happiness between you and this other person. It's like, you know, you both, you both have feelings for each other. You both actually want to be together. See, I knew he would leave. <laughs> um, I mean, I'm even getting here like marriage proposal, right? You can see it in this image. But there's a lot of there's a lot of restlessness and there's it, it just feels like this person that you're dealing with unless the roles are reversed of course um is a little bit all over the place they're they're like a little bit scattered i feel like it's not that they're being flirty or interacting with other people because they want to have relationships with them or anything like that um it's just it's just coming off more as an insecurity to me all right um now for some of you of course it could be that it's that there's a third party again it feels like this person is scattered and that this whole situation is just putting a strain on the relationship or on the connection um but they're moving towards figuring this out all right with that knight of pentacles it's like that knight of pentacles is saving the day um let's see the sun for the recent past all right this is also leo's energy so some of you might be dealing with a leo we have the seven of wands and the three of swords Ooh, yeah so things were happy there was or there was some kind of hope here um that was then shattered basically it's almost like you know it's like just as you were happy like all of a sudden that was blocked out that was blocked out and it, it caused a lot of pain let's move on to what is happening currently let's see the page of wands in your energy Page of Pentacles and the Devil. Okay, so we do also have Capricorn coming up here. Okay, yeah, you're you're wanting to move away from this. You're wanting to move away from this because you're feeling like it's keeping you trapped or like it's keeping you attached. You're feeling that this situation whatever it is that has been going on here that it's not healthy i feel like this situation has become toxic um for you and you are very much aware of that and this is exactly the reason why you're trying to take a step away from from this i feel like you're also for some of you you're trying to communicate this to the other person like letting them know like hey you know like i'm about to walk away um, and for others of you, it could just be energetically if you're not in, in contact. Let's see the Six of Swords. The Two of Pentacles and Justice. Okay, so Libra. Some of you might be dealing with a Libra. Yeah, you're trying to make this decision. I feel like it's difficult for you to fully um, take this decision. It's like there's a little bit of back and forth, um, possibly some hesitation, some fluctuation when it comes to fully walking away. Like you want to, you definitely want to, but then, you know, there are some, some doubts. I do feel like for the most part, you are determined it's just that you know these doubts they creep in and i don't know what these doubts are they're going to be different for each of you and that can make it just a little bit more difficult for you um one sec there was another message that was coming in here for some of you it came in and then it went away um it'll come back and if it doesn't it's okay So let's move on to the other person here. Let's see the Three of Cups. The Ten of Cups and the Three of Pentacles. Okay, so that's a three on a three. Um, 
So yeah, definitely this could be a third party for some of you, okay? For others of you, I feel like this person is just someone who is very, very social or just, you know, wanting to keep some, um, almost like just, just to feel like their options are open, but not necessarily acting on it, like not, not actually like being de deceptive, so to speak. Um, and then for others of you, it is, it is a third party. So hopefully you would know. This, oh gosh, yeah, this person is feeling like, you know, this is what they need in order to have happiness. Um, like I said, they're, they're moving away from that, from that energy, but I feel like it's happening kind of slowly. Um, for some of them, it's like these people that they might be having these interactions with, it could be at work. For some of them, for others of them, I definitely feel like it's just a third party, like like a family or um, just anything else. Let me see the Knight of Pentacles. The Two of Cups and the Empress. So yeah, um, they're taking that path again it's it's a little slow moving but they're taking the path towards love and basically towards you wanting it to be more stable i feel like this person almost like can't help themselves and that's why like i'm getting this like scattered type of energy like almost reckless like they just ha they're having a hard time like controlling their own self so i actually feel like what you're doing um, in terms of trying to move away from this is actually the right decision. Um, of course, follow your intuition, but that's what I'm seeing here, okay? Especially with justice, um, clarifying that six of swords, you distancing yourself from this connection. Okay, and I just got the message again that came through before, which is that for a small group of you, not all of you, I feel like the scenario is slightly different where um, you're just trying to recover from something from the past, uh, uh, some kind of um, a deception that may have happened in the past, and you're trying to leave that behind. In that case, it's interesting because I still feel like this person is struggling to escape from whatever it is that hurt you in the first place. They're doing something about it, but but they're not 100% there yet, okay? So just be mindful of that. They do have love for you um, with this Ten of Cups here. They they And this is what they want. That's the thing is that this is what they want. They do have this love, but they're having a hard time controlling their behavior at this point in time, at least. Um, let's see that Seven of Swords for the near future. We have strength, okay, so Leo showing up a second time, and we also have death, okay, so Scorpio. Okay. So it does get it does get better. I do see improvement. I was kind of scared actually with that seven of swords. Um, it does feel like there is a little bit of like, maybe this person trying to hide something, but I, I feel like whatever it is that they're trying to hide, it's more of trying to hide something so that you don't get the wrong idea because you're already hurt. And so you're already like, um, you know, susceptible to thinking the worst. So I feel like that's why this energy is here. Um, because we do have strength and death, which, I mean, both of these cards, they're pretty positive in this particular case, right? It's like there's some kind of a, a transition. There's some kind of an ending here, which would lead to a new beginning. There, it's like a transformation that is taking strength, right? So it's this person actually um, really trying to change this deceptive deceptiveness whatever it is even though i don't i don't feel like their intentions were really deceptive but of course you know best you know your situation everybody's situation is different okay um this is a general reading so okay 
So let's see the Four of Wands for the message for you. Put that in reverse. We have the Three of Wands and the High Priestess. Okay, so this is all about you focusing on your stability and on what it is that you want in order to feel safe, in order to feel secure, in order to feel like this is stable and you know that this is something that you can depend on and count on. Okay, so the message for you is to really, you know, have that very solidified in your mind and then also to not accept anything less than that, right? Follow your intuition. Know that this is whatever this four of wands means to you, this is what you should expect from others. So don't accept anything less than that. And I also do get that this is something in your in your potential here, that this is something that, yes, you can have in the near future. All right, Aquarius, let's see. Let's get a final Oracle message for you. All right, and we have come to the edge. Yeah, so I feel like this is actually talking about the Six of Swords, you trying to move away from this, which is proving to be quite difficult, right? And it might require for you to really feel like, okay, you're taking a risk or you're pushing yourself to that edge. And you have that encouragement and that support from spirit to do that, at least for now. All right, Aquarius, those are your messages. I thank you so much for watching. Much love.